livelihoods, the rights of people to life, and the interests of corporations to make profits with fossil fuels, with car offset, and with all solutions like um, clean coal, nuclear power, or agri-fuels. And, well, this is what we think um, should be an important uh, sort in our minds while we try and carry forward the movement, that we have to engage in those struggles, that we have to tell people that if emissions keep growing, this is not mainly because people aren't willing to individually change their lifestyle by bits, because they aren't willing to buy their more expensive greenwashed um, goods of consumption they're being offered, but it is because the interests of corporations and the capitalist economic structure that relies on economic growth cannot be combined with a way of living that will protect us from climate change. And again, for we haven't yet really agreed on what are going to be next key part focus of mobilization, although I am sure that the next part will again be um, a huge meeting of a hopefully already much bigger and stronger movement for climate justice. But I believe that everywhere in all our country that we come from, with all the diverse um, backgrounds of the social movement that we come from, we will also have to carry the struggle for climate justice back into those other struggles where we come from. The struggle for land, um, the struggle against open pit coal mining, for example, struggle for people defending their homes against coal mines, um, and also carry the struggle back into um, where part of us have come from, which is the so-called non global movement, the movement against neoliberal capitalist globalization. I think we really have to refocus on what the World Bank and the WTO are doing um, related to climate change. For example, um, the European Union has recently sued China for um, well, imposing obstacles to um, free trade, which in the same term impose obstacles to um, carbon emissions. So, if we want to um, if we want to check on those structures, we cannot only do it with mobilising to the COP15, where greenwashing and false solutions are being treated. We also have to keep fighting 